Hello? So, so I wanted to share what I've been working on over the summer. Uh, recently I've been getting into programming a little bit more and so I decided I wanted to set a little, uh, set uh, a goal for myself. Uh, I've, I've started to study Python and as well as, as well as, uh, scripting, scripting in bash using, uh, Linux based systems. Uh, I decided I wanted to make a synthesizer using pure data. It's a free program available online, sort of a visual uh, programming environment meant for audio and video. And so, uh, this is a synthesizer I've been working on, not the keyboard, but what's in here in the Raspberry Pi that I just got a few, uh, got about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, so basically, uh, basically I'm halfway done with the synthesizer at this point. Uh, the only thing that uh, needs to be done is building the uh, MIDI interface. Uh, I'm using this right now just because I don't have uh, time or a place to really work on uh, the circuitry for that. Um, so all of the uh, all the hardware is inside of the Raspberry Pi right now. Uh, the only thing that I've uh, that I've added on hardware-wise is this little uh, uh, DAC right here, which uh, is a lot higher quality audio output, uh, which significantly uh, beats the audio output that the Pi has by default. Um, so I just found that for you know ten dollars online, and it seems to work pretty well. So uh, I will now start to kind of explain how this uh, synthesizer works. So I've got two buttons right here, uh, actually three, and I'll explain them right now. So the first two buttons. Uh, control two separate oscillators, uh, which each have uh, the four basic waveforms available. So, uh, if I press once, I've got a basic sine wave, and I can cycle through them next to the uh, triangle, and then square, and then saw, and then it turns off. And I got the same thing right here. Now, what I have here on this first knob, this is the crossfader that controls the mix between the first and the second oscillator. So I can have a sine and say a saw wave. And I can control the mix of them. I could have a square and a saw. Square or saw, mix of the two. So next what I'm going to show you is I got this third button right here which controls the mode of the, uh, of the scale that I'm playing in and is, uh, determines the pitch. Uh, so right now uh, it's set by default to go on to uh, the Dorian mode. Uh, however, if you click it once, you can have, uh, you can have uh, the Ionian mode, which is the basic C major scale. So let's just take a look at that. So here's the default Dorian. It's controlled with this pitch knob right here. I'm not using the keyboard. Now let's change it to Ionian. Next, I'm going to show uh, some of the other effects parameters that I have here. Uh, among them are the uh, are the vibrato function. Uh, this controls uh, speed and this controls depth. So let's take a look at that. Here we got cutoff, and here we got Q or resonance. So you can 
do lots of filter sweeps and get all that cool screaming goodness right there, little filter squeals. Okay, and then last but not least, we got uh, our delay function right here. We got a left and a right delay, and you can determine the, uh, the time of the delay with each knob. So anyways, there's the uh, synth that I've been working on, so hopefully by the next time I post a video I'll have it in, housed in a, a custom uh, MIDI interface, uh, something that maybe other people would be interested in buying. So thanks for watching.